Getting Them Outdoors, sponsored by Legend Boats, Rigid Industry LED Lighting, Hot Hunters Apparel, Cigar, Always the Best, Brother in Arms, Game Calls, Bills Marine, Lawrence, Find, Navigate, and Dominate. Welcome back, folks, to Getting Them Outdoors, and this week we're going to do a Lawrence Tech Tip for you guys. And uh, I'm going to go over how I set up my temp sensors on my HDS unit. You know, as you can see, I got my Alpha 211 boat right here and my HDS 9 touchscreen. And I'm going to show you how I select my temp sensor on my Legend boat. All right, guys. As you can see, I got 2D sonar here and my, my down scan right here. I'm reading off my LSS2 box right now, uh, just for a prime example here. Um, here, I'm going to show you how I set my uh, temp sensor on my bow unit. I'm going to hit the menu. Head overlay. I'm going to press my temp sensor. I want to go to change. Hit the arrow button. I'm going to go to data source. Okay, you can see my wire temp is in global right now. The reason why it's in global is because I was reading off my LSS2 box. Okay? Because I'm pulling my temp sensor right now, for example, only off my LSS2 transducer. Now, if I did want to pull my temp sensor off that, like I have an EP80, as you can see, I'll hit this right here. <clears throat> and if I want to read off that, and see, as you can see, it's still in global. Well, the reason why I want to keep my EP80 in global is because my back unit will share it, my console unit. All right. Well, let's say if I want to read off my my transducer up front here off my trolling motor. What I'll do is select the HDS9 there. You can keep it on global, but usually what I do is take it off global and select local. And just hit that again right there because you're just changing out of global. I reselect HD9 right there. What that lets it do, the unit, it will just read my bow unit transducer temp sensor. And that's how I usually normally set up my bow unit. I usually read off my HDI transducer off my trolling motor and I put in the local. That's where I'm always getting my temp sensor from my console for my bow unit right here off my trolling motor. Alright guys, we're back at the console unit here. I got my HCS 12 right there. You already see I got temp overlaid. I'm pulling that off my EP80. Now for this section of the video, I'm using my external LSS2 HD box and I got my LSS2 transducer connected to the box. What that entails you, I do not have right now for this part of the video my LSS2 transducer not connected to my touch unit. So if I want to use the LSS2 transducer temp source, here's how I do it. Go to edit overlay, go to change, go to water temp, go to data source. Select right now. You see, I got EP80 selected. But if I want to use the temp source for my LSS2 transducer, I select that right there. I usually like to keep both of these right here in global. Well, this is how I select my temp source when I'm running through my structure scan box. All right, guys, we're back here at the console unit on my HDS12. And uh, for this segment of the video, I have my LSS2 transducer plugged into my touch unit. So I'm pulling my structure scan from the internal from my touch unit. Okay. As you see, I don't have any temp sensors on right now on my screen. All right. I'm just, on my boat, I have a PDWL for my 2D sonar. And what that is, a transducer, puck style transducer that doesn't have temp sensor. Okay. So on my boat, I have two options because I have NEMA. But if you don't have NEMA, you only have one option, okay? So when you overlay your temp sensor, what you want to do is do this. Go to edit overlay. You want to add, check water temp, down arrow right there, data source, okay? HDS 12 touch T. What I just told the unit right there to do is read off my LSS2 transducer temp because it's connected to my touch unit. It doesn't say that right there, okay? But it is okay. The reason why Lawrence did that is to make it easier on the beginner and the average fisherman without to go into the data source. Okay. Now, 
as I mentioned, I have two ways of getting temp sensor. Because I have NEMA in the boat, I have an EP80 sensor, temp sensor on the outside of my boat. So I can select that right there if I want to use that EP80. Okay. Now, if your boat has a transducer with a temp, like a lot of boats do, like the skimmer on the back or the, the puck style transducer with a pigtail with a temp sensor hanging outside the back mounted, <clears throat> your temp sensor will, will automatically default to your 2D sonar, okay? It will not read the temp sensor from the LSS2. So you won't see that option, but it automatically will read from the temp sensor from your 2D sonar. Like I said earlier, they did this because to make it easier for the average fisherman and the beginner, they have to go in there and data source everything. So it automatically pulls from it. So, well, guys, as you see, that's how I set my uh, temp sensors on my 12 touch and my 9 touch at the bow. Um, hope this video tech tip will help you understand on how to set up your temp sensors. And uh, make sure you uh, check us out on Facebook and uh, check it out on the web. And we'll see you guys next time on the website.